Okay, we're group 10, and um, our article was entitled The Economics of Giving It Away. I'm Melissa Wintersteller. I'm Lucas Witt. I'm Paul Wilkerson. I'm BD. <laughs> um, all right. In the last decade, we have become more used to free online services. Digital goods have become more popular since they can be produced for almost nothing. Their price levels have gone to zero. The use of the internet has been spurred the innovation of a new business model known as freemium, which is if you were to have, say, a business of some kind like selling brownies, and the freemium is if the concept, instead of giving away one brownie and selling 99, you give away 99 and sell one. So some examples of these free online services are Facebook and Google, which I'm sure everybody is pretty familiar with. Some of the other ones are ipum.com, which lets users listen to songs posted on music-related blogs for free. Um, they can't be downloaded from that site, but Amazon and iTunes links appear next to all of the tracks. There's also kayak.com, which lets users compare traveling fares from multiple vendors. You can't buy them directly from this site, but they do give you a link to that vendor so that you can buy the tickets from them. Okay, uh, more examples of the free online businesses uh, include Picnic.com, which is a free uh, photo editing site, which doesn't require any uh, software or registration, no downloads. Um, you can post uh, your pictures that you crop on Picnic.com to like Flickr and Facebook for free. Uh, there's Pogo.com, which is a free online video gaming site, and it has more than 100 games. It has like Scrabble and Monopoly, I think, on there. And then there's also ShopItToMe.com, uh, which basically uh, notifies uh, its users uh, when a certain retailer, clothing designer, that they 